Breaking tonight at 6, a confirmed tornado in Metro Atlanta touching down for at least one minute this morning. At the same time, straight line winds killed a man who was about to retire. This is like a train. I heard it. And in your mind, you had no idea. I had no idea that the damage that I have to my house. CBS 46's Adam Murphy live in Riverdale, where that family and many others are in shock tonight. Adam. Well, the damage is extensive. I want to show it to you here, Rick, and others watching right now, just off Zebulon Court right here in Riverdale. Look at the damage from this tornado. It did a real number on this house, and I want to walk you to the backyard where it's only worse. Now, this is the home that belongs to the woman who has a special needs child. They managed to get to safe area in the home when they heard that storm come through just after six o'clock this morning. And it's a good thing they did take a look at the damage that this left behind. This is the result of an EF1 tornado, which ripped through parts of Clayton County just after six o'clock Monday morning. Trees snapped in half and damaged homes near Bethaven Road in Zebulon Court in Riverdale. For something like this to happen, this was very unexpected. Very, very. Never saw this coming. And on Lakeview Drive near Bay Court in Clayton County, straight line winds forced a large tree to fall on top of this truck, killing Harvey Hillman Sr., who was getting ready to go to work, leaving his family with only memories. Last week, last Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, last Wednesday, he called and said he was cooking breakfast. And did I want to come over and eat breakfast? And just out the blue, just out the blue. So that memory there going to stay forever. Severe weather also took its toll in Carrollton. Surveillance video at the B&H Foods on Kingsbridge Road shows roofing insulation from the business blowing in the air. It was, it was definitely frightening. And in Marietta, there were more than a dozen trees down, littering yards near Larson Way. Around 5, 6 a.m., heard some pelting on the windows, just some debris hitting some like uh, storm sounds. And then very quickly, the high winds picked up and had that typical roaring train sound. And we immediately gathered the children and went to the basement. And about as quick as it came, it was over. And no official word tonight on whether a tornado caused that damage in Marietta and Carrollton, but it is a done deal here in Riverdale. Look, this is a home next door where a tree crashed on top of the roof and there was a tree guy that just got down from up top up there. He was trying to take that tree down. It's unbelievable. The damage left behind here and it happened so quickly and just over about a minute. This is the damage that was done in this particular area of Clayton County. And that's where we're live tonight. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. Adam, thank you. Chief Meteorologist